Joining me in the studio is Ken Ado. He is head of entertainment, lifestyle, and events at Media General. So, Ken, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Portia. These two musicians were mm. in police custody. Do you yes. know if they have been released? Well, as of now, before I got oh. into the studio, I, I, I learned that they were still uh, with the police. Yeah. So, I think the process is still ongoing. They have to. Uh, investigate further to actually know what transpired mm -hmm. uh, last Saturday night or Sunday dawn uh, to find out what actually you know what's the problem mm -hmm. and how it all began you know for us because uh, first of all again I would like to also say kudos to uh, the organizers and everybody who was part of this uh, event including media general ourselves but this was unexpected this was unfortunate and for me the whole act like uh, Kwame Sefakai had mm. put out in the, the statement is very um, uncalled for, it's uncultured, unmanaged, and it's, it's very, very unfortunate mm. and sad for the industry and where we've got into. What will be its impact on these two musicians as well as the entertainment industry? Well, just like, I mean, Kwame said in the statement, um, you're looking at these two huge artists with huge following, trust me, the following of these two, well, they are two of my favorites mm -hmm. though, but very huge following and what it means is that um, people who were reluctant or money people as were wealthy people businessmen who were reluctant or have been reluctant in investing in the industry because of some of their you know knowledge or what they know what they've heard and what they've seen about the industry with such an act mm. would even be reluctant the more you know, to come and invest because you see, this is, this is something that is rewarding artists. Mm. This is where people from far and near, industry people uh, from far and near have come together to have fun and again build the industry and make mm. it better. So if this is going to happen, we are going to lose our the more on money. Ken, that's know? not the first time that we've seen a fracas between these two. Right. So going forward, what can be done to restore peace between these two? Okay, so let me take you back into <laughs> time when there was a huge beef. One of the biggest, if, if you take that one, then this one comes. Huge beef between Exto and mm. Chicago way back in, in, in the early 2000s, the late 90s and early 2000s. And there was a call by the president of the nation because these uh, these two these two guys had um, what do you call a huge following at the time and so there was a call by the government the president and the president of the musicians union of ghana at the time there was serious dialogue and uh, conversations were held mm -hmm. to bring sanity and peace to the industry what happened somebody pulling out a gun and so the fight and punches and blows could get into the street mm -hmm. now what people saw on tv and social media was just snippets what was happening outside of the venue was something else the new crop of guys who came in as reinforcement was also something else and so it could have gotten into the street yeah. if the police uh, were not swift in that regard to actually you know bring calm and sanity to the place so there must be conversations there might they have to be maybe going into jail and all of that may be the extreme yeah. but if yeah the law requires that maybe the law should take its course but they must be spoken to and they must speak to their fans so who they, can come in to broker th this peace between the two? What well, both of them have been to the presidency. Both of them, I believe His Excellency Leonardo Danko Ekufuado loves their music mm. and he loves them too. And he has met with both of them. And I'm sure when he makes that call, mm. I'm sure when Leonardo makes that call, they would listen. Can going forward, how should security be at a, events such as this? Well, um, we have had security issues. <laughs> Uh, if you are the venue, I mean, there's supposed to be a checkpoint for people. You, when you're going to other places, I mean, hotels and stuff, mm -hmm. they check you. So for an event that was hosting over 3,000 people and mm -hmm. people could have passed through security with a gun, it means that there was an issue. Mm -hmm. They were not checking out for those uh, unwanted materials, knives, guns, and any other material. They were checking the tickets, which was just what they were looking out for. Security must be more tighter. Security must be more apt. Security detail must be more tactful, you know. And for the artists and their following who always walk up and go on stage when there is an event, mm -hmm. uh, they have tried to control that, but still, uh, followers or the followers of these artists do not heed to that. S then again, musicians and the leaders of these fan base must be 
able to talk to their followers. Mm -hmm. But as for the security, it has to be tight. It has to be, it has to go beyond uh, what we just see. Some of the security men are taken aback. Some of them just stand and watch the event sometimes. And I was telling the crew the other time that most often when it's past 12 a.m. in the night, the security detail of most of these e events become weak. Is either they are tired <laughs> or, well, there are no more people buying tickets and coming in, so they take off their eyes mm. on the gate. But as for the security detail, trust me, it has to be worked on, right. seriously. Thank you very much for your time. And Thank Ken you. Addo is Head of Entertainment, Lifestyle and Events at Media General. And that's it for Media Life. Thanks so much for watching. I am Portia Gabo. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Good afternoon.